Deathmold of Ban Art, brother to Drithelm of Pontvanis, was in active service of King Estarat of Kovir. He was a reserved kind of man, just like his brother, and we honestly don't see a whole lot of him during the books. During the Thanid Rebellion, both Deathmold and his brother Drithelm stood on the side of the Northern Mages, but unfortunately Drithelm was killed that day, leaving Deathmold to fend for himself. He doesn't really get a bigger role until The Witcher 2. During said game, it seems he's joined the side of Henselt of Kedwin as his personal sorcerer. There, it became weirdly apparent that he enjoyed destruction and death over most other things, reveling in all the horrible things he might do during the war. Should Geralt choose to stay in Henselt's camp as well, Deathmold is doubly excited to work with the Witcher. Not strange, of course, as witchers are well versed in curses and monsters, both things Deathmold enjoys more than he should. Although apparently he hadn't cast all too many curses himself during his lifetime. Once, he made a man sprout donkey's ears and a tail. Another time, he burned someone's house down. Nothing too serious. Instead, he had mastered the theory involved with lifting curses. Strangely, he was best in class at Ban Art, the magical school for boys. So it was that when the king was attacked by two witchers, one of which Geralt kills, Deathmold set about reanimating the corpse's memories. He created Han Marvin's Blue Dream, allowing Geralt to relive the final moments of the dead witcher on the table. But magic was not all Deathmold excelled at. When it came to light that a conspiracy had sprouted to overthrow his king, Henselt, Deathmold was put on the case. He was to find the conspirators and rout them. Should Geralt be around in the camp at the time, Deathmold will ask him for help in the matter as well, although strangely, Geralt doesn't exactly help much. In fact, he kills an important source of possible information about the conspiracy instead, slowing down the entire investigation. Leaving Deathmold to do the heavy lifting himself, something he does admirably, whether Geralt is or isn't around to witness it when he figures out that Roach, leader of the Blue Stripes, was in fact also leading the conspirators. While Geralt is out of the camp to find Roach, Deathmold takes that time to hang the entire squad of Blue Stripes. But that wasn't all he did. To trick the Blue Stripes, Deathmold lied to them. He told them they were to have a banquet to celebrate the unraveling of the conspiracy. As the Blue Stripes had nothing to do with the whole thing, they believed him and left for the tent where, unbeknownst to them, they would be executed. Except for Vess the only female blue stripe. Deathmold told her instead that Roach was waiting for her with the king so he could be personally decorated. When Vess made it to the royal tent, Deathmold was jumping around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang as punishment for flotsam and for conspiring. Vess begged and pleaded, but both Deathmold and Henselt just laughed at her. You can imagine what the king was up to next. Roach, understandably, lusts for vengeance after this massacre, and so he and Geralt run for Vergen. In the caves they use to make it there, Deathmold awaits with a gang of mercenaries who absolutely fail to do their job, even with Deathmold helping them fight. When he realizes he's losing, Deathmold teleports away again. Henselt can potentially die at this point, but either way, Deathmold won't know that and continues their plan as usual. This plan involves Anais the daughter of Foltest. Deathmold and Henselt had intended to use her as leverage to gain power and influence. If Geralt aids Roach, they will have the opportunity to find and save said Anais. They find Deathmold with his lover boy in a random chamber, where he immediately gets his arm broken by a furious Roach, who proceeds to cut off his balls, which he then shoves down his throat as a final farewell. Should you choose to side with Jorveth over Roach in the games, Deathmold will also die, just a lot faster and in a lot less brutal manner. And let's be honest, we really can't deprive Roach of that. I'm sure you're not surprised, but we're not doing skits at the end cards today either. I am so sorry. My patrons are getting titles today. I hope you appreciate those too. Walgai the Illustrious. Robertson the Enlightened. Lachmoin the Fierce. MJ Kulksta the Impressive. Septic, Septic the Catist, Mike Zwiers, the Unrelenting, Adrian, Adrian Packle, the Impeccable, Ray Ray, the Fortuitous, Freeman, the Wise, the, 